Hello friends. Today we will perform a practical on polarimeter. Aim of our practical is to study the kinetics of inversion of cane sugar by using this polarimeter. This is the required solutions. This is the one molar ACL solution. Uh, and the quantity required for one molar ACL solution is 25 ml. This is the sugar. This is the 5 gram sugar which is have to be dissolved in the 25 ml of distilled water. After the preparation of one molar solution and 20% sugar solution, uh, we have to mix both solutions. Then we have to fill up the polarimeter tube. This is our solution. Remove the air bubble if any by using this tilting. After re removing the air bubble, I am putting this polarimeter tube. Then we have to start the stopwatch. At the <coughs> same time, means 0 minute, we have to take the reading. This is the polaroid wheel. By using this polaroid wheel, we can take our readings on the intensity meter. This is the intensi intensity meter. Then move this polaroid wheel forth and back. To set the intensity meter to the minimum. Now this is the minimum value set on the intensity meter. Now this is the reading for 0 minute. Then we have to take readings for the uh, till the 15 minutes at the interro interval of 10 minutes. Now 10 minutes are passes, so we have to take the reading for 10 minutes. Once again this polaroid wheel, we have to adjust to the minimum value. This is the reading for 10 minutes. Then uh, we have to take the readings in similar manner for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes and 50 minutes from the start. After performing the experiment, uh, the, these are the readings. Mm -hmm. By using this reading, we have to do calculation. And this is the R infinity reading. R infinity is minus 3.5. This R infinity reading is obtained by keeping the solution for 24 hours. Uh, then we have to calculate the rate constant k. This is the formula for k values 2.303 upon t into log of r0 minus r infinity upon rt minus r infinity. Uh, calculation for the 10 minutes. Right, like this. Calculation for 10 minutes. Then k is equal to 2.303 upon 10. 10 is the value for time t. Then log up this term. Then log up r0. r0 is here 13.7 minus r infinity. r infinity is minus 3.5. Then this is the rt. Read for the 10 minutes. Then reading for the 10 minute is 11.8. This is rt. 11.8 minus Again, R infinity minus 3.5. Then calculate all these terms. After calculating, we will get this term by dividing uh, 2.303 into 10. Then log up this term with. Then take this log of 1.1241 and that is. 0 0.0508 after multiplying we will get the value 0 0.002580 this is the k value for 10 minutes 
similarly let the k values for 20 minutes 30 40 and 50 minutes then take the mean of all the k values k mean k mean is equal to k10 plus k20 plus k30 plus k40 plus k50 divided by 5 this is the mean k value after calculating the k value we have to uh, plot a graph the nature uh, the graph is log of rt minus r infinity versus time and the nature of graph is uh, decreasing nature means negative uh, line is obtained then we have to uh, plot, calculate the slope then calculate slope by using this formula slope is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 this is the y axis this is the x axis hmm? these are the values hmm? x1 x2 and these are the values of y1 y2 hmm? after uh, putting all these values we will get the slope then by getting slope calculate the k value by using this formula 2.303 into slope the k value is obtained the this is the k value for uh, by graph and this is the k value obtained here from the calculation the slope obtained here is negative uh, then this is the uh, formula minus 2.303 into slope then uh, positive k value is obtained uh, the graphical k value and calculated k value are nearly same and the nature of graph is straight line hence it is a first order reaction.